the appropriate number of pellets is, of course, the dose. You then pop this off without touching the pellets that are inside that little uh, vial there, and then you pop it under your, your tongue in your mouth and let it dissolve. This is how she keeps me quiet when she gives me these things because you're not supposed to talk either. And let it dissolve, and you move on. All right, next homeopathic remedy is for, as an alternative for cough suppressants. It's called phosphorus, which you've heard of before. Well, you know, homeopathic remedies are made out of minerals, plants, or animal venoms, okay? So taking too much of any of those things could make you quite sick. And the person who does well on phosphorus usually craves cold drinks. They want cold things like ice cream, cold drinks. And in fact, their cough is better from drinking cold things. So that's how you could recognize okay. it. Okay, so again, get one of the vials. They're easy to store. Put it inside of your little kit over here. We're off to number three, which is for folks who've had the flu. Then we had a very bad flu season. A lot of people are sick and tired of taking I heard about over the counter <laughs> medications. So instead of ibuprofen or acetaminophen, what are things you might be able to benefit from? This is gal galsemium? Yes, gelsemium. Gelsemium. Beautiful flower. It is beautiful. Very flower. toxic if you were to take it, but in <laughs> homeopathic form, infinitely safe. Uh, yes, it was a very, very bad flu season. And how would you recognize which flu it would help? Well, the person who needs gelsemium has a few striking characteristics. One is they're very weak. Mm -hmm. So they're so weak, they almost can't even get out of bed. Mm -hmm. I've heard patients tell me they're so weak, they can't even keep their eyes fully open. Their eyelids feel too heavy. OK, they're very chilly. They feel chills running up and down their back. They're thirstless, even though they have a big fever. And they feel dull, like really out of it. And that's the way to spot the person who has the flu who needs gelsemium. Perfect. Again, the dosing uh, you can all see on the screen. I'll put that in my little kit. The fourth item here is for sinus infections. The homeopathic treatment here is called Pulsatilla. Uh, please explain what the flower is and how you dose it. Okay, so it's a beautiful flower, as you see, as a number of them are. Uh, so Pulsatilla is good for a lot of upper respiratory infections, okay? So that would include coughs, colds, congestion, sinus infections. And one of the characteristics to know that you need Pulsatilla to help you is because it has a lot of yellow mucus. So you're blowing and blowing, and it's a lot of loose mucus, okay? But in looking at the whole person, we can also say the person who needs uh, Pulsatilla when they're sick tends to be... Uh, sad, tends to be needy, they want affection, they want consolation, they're not thirsty, they're overly warm. It's a picture of the whole person, not just the nose. Sounds like my son. I want to take one of these. <laughs> Try it. And then he gets sick and wants everything and nothing at the yes. same time. It's very common in kids, you know. I, I treat uh, a lot of kids with ear infections with, uh, with, with Pulsatilla who have that picture with, with incredible success. <laughs> and finally, if you're someone likes to get away from antacids, you might want to try Nux Vomica. Right. What a name. Nux name. Vomica. <laughs> it's a poison nut. Uh, and in <laughs> fact, it's good for a lot of digestive symptoms. Uh, nausea is one, certainly bloating, um, indigestion, heartburn, and that can be from overindulgence, like from rich foods, fatty foods, too much alcohol, like over the holidays. I'm sure lots of people took right. it. Okay, and the way that you recognize the person who needs Nux Vomica, not only with those digestive symptoms, they tend to be very chilly and they're very irritable. Mm -hmm. They're grumpy, they're impatient, they get mad easily. All right. <laughs> it's a good picture. Is, this is the most unforgettable of the homeopathic remedy yes. names, Nux Vomica. It's yes. my starter kit. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for the advice. Coming up, three traditionally trained medical doctors are coming forward for the first time to share the homeopathic remedies that have revolutionized their practice. And you know what? These can work for you. Stay here.